Hello, this is module number 25. <clears throat> do you know what blood type you have? Some people do, a lot of people don't. If you ever donate blood, they'll tell you your blood type. <clears throat> this activity, I love this activity because we no longer use real blood in a science classroom to test blood types. And you only do that, you do that activity in upper grades anyway. But there is a neat little activity you can do with upper elementary that uses red, blue, food coloring, and water. If you look in the file section of web courses, you'll find this little handout. And this, the little, this little handout we're going to fill out by doing this activity. Okay? So... Why do we have different blood types? Well, not why, but where do we get the different names for the blood types? If you have type A blood, that means you have the A antigen or the A protein on the red blood cell. If you have type B blood, you have the B antigen or the, the B protein. If you have type AB blood, you have both A and B antigens. If you have type O blood, you have neither. Okay? There's another factor that's very important in blood types, and that's what we call the RH factor. They use rhesus monkeys for doing that research. And so now if you have the RH factor, you're RH positive. If you don't have it, you're RH negative. This activity that we're going to do, we're not dealing with RH factor. But RH, the RH factor used to be a really big deal uh, when a couple got married. This was a long time ago. They asked for your blood type. It's very important because if the mother is RH negative and the father is RH positive, and they have a child, let's say the first child is RH positive. The mother's blood does not have an RH factor. So her body starts to build up antibodies against that child's blood. The first baby is usually okay. Second child, second child comes around and it's also RH positive the mother's blood will attack the blood of the baby and the baby may not survive. They used to do transfusions to save the babies all the time. So that's why it used to be a big deal. What's your RH factor or what's your blood type? Now, a mother has a child, they give the mother a what they call a Rogam shot. And this shot keeps her body from building up antibodies. So it's no, no longer a problem. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. In our little activity, type A blood, type A blood is going to be represented by red food coloring and water. As you can see, I've already made it. Put about three, three or four drops. Type B blood, type B blood is blue food coloring. Type AB blood is, you guessed it, it has to have both A and B, right? It's a mixture of A and B. The trick is to make sure the AB blood looks a lot different than the B. If you put too much blue, color, blue coloring in the B, it, it may get really dark looking, and it looks similar to AB, so make sure there's a difference between these two. And <clears throat> type O blood, has neither A or B antigens. So it's just plain water. So let's look at our chart. I have it on the board behind me. And I'm going to stand up and go over the chart first. And then I'm going to sit back down. And we're going to do a few of these. And I'll show you how this activity works. <clears throat> we're going to go A into A. So, 
The one you're going into is the one that needs the transfusion. Okay? So that's what we're going to do over there. Then we're going to do A and a B, A and A, B, A and O. And we're not going to do all these in this video because once we do a few of them, once I show you some examples, you'll be able to figure this out. Do you do this in your class? <clears throat> I only have four cups up there. If you do this in your class, you need a cup for every one of these. You need a cup for this A, a cup for that A, a cup for that A, a cup for that B. You need, <clears throat> I think it's 32 cups. And you want your students to label each cup and have them set up ready to do the transfusions. Why? Children will get children will get really really confused on this. So that's why you have 32 cups. We're not going to have 32 cups here because I can do this, show you a few samples, and then we're good to fill this chart out. What can we go ahead and fill out? A and A. You know it's going to be safe, right? A and A is safe. B and a B, we, we can do that one. B and a B, we know that's going to be safe, so we'll just go ahead and do that one too. A, B, and A, B, that's going to be safe. Hmm. I don't think I can make it. <clears throat> Let me do that. Oh, no, we'll have to do something because. Even though it's just plain water. Oh, no, it's safe, right? Okay. Now let's do a few of the other ones and see, see what happens. Let's sit down and <clears throat> <clears throat> let's do the second one on the chart. I'm looking at the chart here. Let's do A into B. So this B blood type person needs a transfusion. And there's an A blood person, A type blood person that wants to give this person a transfusion. So I'm going to take a clean cup. I'm going to take my reservoir. This is my reservoir of, of blood types. I'm going to put some B blood here. And who's giving them blood? The A person. I could pour it into a little small cup. A little bit in a cup, but I'm just going to pour it from here. Remember, you're going to look at the one you're pouring into, B. This is the one, the red, the type A is giving the blood, B is receiving. And let's see what happens to it. Did that change? Did this one change colors? Yeah, it changed colors. That, mean, that means it's unsafe. That means it's an unsafe transfusion. So we can put unsafe up there. I'll do that later. Let's do A into AB. Take another cup. Here's our AB. A into AB. Remember AB is the one that's receiving the blood. AB is receiving blood from an A individual. Did it change? Not really. So what is that? That's safe. That's safe. Well, think about it. That should be safe, right? A and AB cause the AB in the original already has the A protein, so it's going to be safe. Let's do A and O. Hmm. Here's our O individual. Here's our O individual. A is very busy, giving a lot of transfusions today. A and the O. O is our receiver here. Well, you know what's going to happen here, right? It changed. <laughs> so that's unsafe. Right? Let's fill out the first two.
two columns there. We can do that. A and AB was what? Unsafe. He was on the right. <coughs> unsafe. A and AB? That was safe, right? A and O? Remain safe. We already know B and the B is safe. B and the A? We didn't do that, but well, let, let's do it. I know you're curious, right? Make sure I get it right. So A this time, A is receiving blood, and B is giving the blood. That changed, right? What's on say? B and AB? Just like A and AB. AB has B, so it's okay for B to give blood to, to B, so that's going to be safe. And B and O, <coughs> B and O, though, is definitely going to change, right? Let's think about these. These are a lot different. You know that's safe. What's going to happen when you put A, B in the A? What's going to happen when you put A, B in the B? Well, you know what's going to happen when you put A, B blood in the O. The O is going to change, right? So we, we can put on safe here. How about these? Think about it. A doesn't have B, and you're going to add AB and A. Let's see. Which one is that? We're going to put some A here. A little bit more. And we're going to give transfuse. Here's our recipient down here. We're going to that change? Yes, of course. So B and A, and safe. A, B is the B. B doesn't have A, so that's going to be unsafe too. O and O safe, of course. Oh, look at this. O and A, O and B, O and A, B. We know this one, right? O is giving to the other ones. O and A, safe. O and a B, safe. O and A, B, safe. So on your, in your file section, you have this chart. Actually, it's in the PowerPoint. It's actually, it's in the PowerPoint. It's not in the file section. Well, the PowerPoint's in the file section. So in the PowerPoint, you have the chart. You have one that's blank for you to use, and you have one that's filled out like this. What, what do you notice about that chart? If you look back at the chart, which blood type can receive blood from anybody else? AB, right? AB is what we call the universal recipient. Which blood type can give to everybody else? That's type O. That's the universal donor. Again, this does not involve the RH factor. That would get very complicated. Okay? And also, make sure when you make your mixture of blood types, you know, you want to make sure that you can definitely see that change of color. If you got in your A and B especially, and your B, you want to make sure they're, to when you mix them, you can see there's a change, or when it's not supposed to change, make sure there's no change, you know. Um, but A, B, A, B, and O. 
a lot of cups, <laughs> but red food coloring, blue food coloring, cups, a chart, water, it's all you need for this. And this is blood compatibility, blood compatibility, okay?